Hai, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh And good afternoon to Mrs. Nithya Priyasami Our lecturer in DBM 20023 Engineering Mathematics 2 Today we, we will present to you about differentiation My name is Muhammad Difadli bin Muhammad Noor. My metric number is 01DM21F1019. Hello, my name is Hilmi Hakim bin Azhar. My metric number is 01DM21F1013. Hi, my name is Khairul Anwar bin Abdurrahim. My metric number is 01DM21F1001. Hi. My name is Muhammad Fahim Akil bin Shamsuddin. My metric number 01DM21F1024. It's our team roles and responsibility. Introduction of differentiation. The derivative of differentiation is defined as the rate of change of one quantity with respect to another. In terms of function, the rate of change of function is defined as dy over dx equal f equal function x equal y prime the concept of derivative has been used on a small scale and large scale the concept of derivative is used in many ways such as change of temperature or rate of change of shape and size of an object depending on the condition etc example application of differentiation in real life the example application of differentiation in real life is to check the temperature variation to determine the speed of or distance covered such as miles per hour, kilometers per hour, and etc. Derivatives are used to derive many equations in physics. In the study of seismology, like to find the range of magnitudes of the earthquake. Solution for all equations. The equation is y equal bracket x minus 3 multiplied by 2 minus x multiplied by x over 4. The question is, use differentiation to find expression of dy over dx. The solution is, first of all, we need to multiply all the bracket. So, we get the x square minus 3x over 4 multiplied by 2 minus x. So, we get 2x square minus x cube minus 6x plus 3x square over 4. After that, we divide the fraction and the equation. So, we get 1 over 4 multiplied by negative x cube plus 5x square minus 6x. So, to find the dy over dx is 1 over 4 multiplied by d over dx negative x cubed plus 5x square minus 6x. So, we get the negative 3x square plus 10x minus 6 over 4. After that, we need to divide to be some fraction. So, we get negative 3 over 4 x square plus 10 over 4 x minus 3 over 2. So, the answer is negative 3 over 4 x square plus 5 over 2 x minus 3 over 2. Okay, for the next question is how many stationary points does the graph have? For the solution is so, we have to know that the question is in bracket x minus 3 in bracket 2 minus x in bracket x minus 4. For the next step, we have to take out the x from the x over 4. So, we will write uh, as shown below is x in bracket x minus 3 in bracket 2 minus x over 4. So, for the next step, we have to multiply all, the all in the bracket like x times 2, x times x, 3, negative 3 times 2, negative 3 times negative x. So, the answer, we will get 2x minus x square minus 6 minus 3x in bracket 
so in uh, in the outside of the bracket we will get x over 4 for the next step we have to times all in the bracket into the x the answer will get 2x square minus 3 minus x power of 3 minus 6x minus 3x square over 4 for the answer we will get the negative x square plus 5x to power power of 2 negative 6x over 4 <coughs> for the next step we have to write in show below right negative 1 over 4 x power of 3 plus 5 over 4 x square negative 6 over 4 x <coughs> for the next step we have to cal calculate uh, by dy over dx the equation is same as above so we have to do in factorization we can just uh, insert the all the equation here to the calculator so the answer for the x1 is 0 0.785 x2 is 2.549 for the third question is to find the coordinate of any stationary point on the curve For this question, we have to replace all the x in, into the when x equal to x.785. It will be y, my, uh, y equal to negative 1 over 4 uh, bracket 0 0.785 power of 3 plus 5 over 4 in bracket 0 0.785 power of 2 minus 6 over 4 in bracket 0 0.785 in bracket so uh, for the next step we have to multiply all the fraction uh, in front to the inside the bracket the answer will get negative, four, negative 0 0.121 plus 0 0.770 and minus 1.178 <laughs> for the final answer for this question we will get y1 equal to negative 0 0.0529 for the next step we will do the same like the first y1 so the question is when x equal to 2.549 we have to replace all the x with the i said below i said before so it will be negative 1.41 over 4 in bracket 2.549 power of 3 plus 5 over 4 inside in bracket power of 2 minus 6 over 4 in bracket 2.549 we will do the same to uh, solve, solve this question we have to multiply outside the bracket to the bracket <coughs> the answer we get negative 4.140 plus 8.122 minus 3.824 the answer for y2 is 0 0.158 therefore stationary point uh, x1 equal to 0 0.785 for the y2 we will get negative 0 0.528 and x2 will get 2.549 and the second one is y2 equal to 0 0.185 now i will continue with 5.4 which is determine y intercept point okay. uh, first thing first that we need to do is uh, we need to differentiate the equation first and then we will get the answer is uh, y equal to negative 1 over 4 x power of 3 plus 5 over 4 x power of 2 minus 6 over 4 x and then we will replace the uh, x value in the equation uh, the x value is 0 y equal to negative 1 over 4 in bracket 0 power of 3 plus 5 over 4 in bracket 0 power of 2 uh, minus 6 over 4 in bracket 0 and then the y we will get 0 so the y-intercept point are 0. Next, 5.5, determine the nature of any stationary points found in part 
justify the answer. Right. To get the minimum and maximum point, we need to do second differentiation method, which is 2 power, d power of 2 y over dx power of 2 equal to negative 6x plus 0 over 4. x1 which is 0 0.785, we're going to substitute it into the equation above, which is uh, negative 6 uh, times 0 0.785 plus 10 over 4. And then we'll get 1.3225, which is the minimum point for x1 and uh, y1. And then for x2, 2.549, we will substitute into the equation equal to negative 6 times 2.549 plus 10 uh, over 4. The answer will get negative 1.3235, which is the maximum point for x2 and y2. So, 5.6. Sketch the graph of the curve. From the above calculation, stationary points and then the nature uh, stationary points and also y-intercept. So, from these points, we can plot a graph. So, we know that x1, y1 is minimum point and x2, y2 is maximum point. And then, we also have y intercept is 0, 0. So we can plot graph. So this is uh, x1, y1, and this is x2, y2, and this uh, 0, 0. Mm. So for the minimum points, be at the lowest point in the graph, and the maximum point must be at the highest point in the graph. Summary. At the end of our presentation, differentiation in mathematics process of finding the derivative or rate of change of a function. In contrast to the abstract notion nature of the theory behind it. The practical technique of different sessions can be carried out by purely algebraic manipulations using three basic derivative for rules of operation and a knowledge of how to manipulate functions. Thank you for your attention and time. Please forgive us if the fact that we say is wrong. That's all from us and have a good day. Bye-bye.